Before we go into role playing here. I, I'd like to ask you a question about um, when a prospect says, I guess it's kind of like a role, but when a prospect mm -hmm. says, well, you know, uh, you're signing, you're about to sign a contract with him. He's like, well, you know, I, I, I don't want to put a signature on here until I let my attorney review it. Okay. How do we kind of rebuttal or, you know, combat that? Okay, let's, who wants to role play with him before I do it? Who wants to take a shot at it? Anybody, anyone, anyone? George, role, George, role play with uh, Mr. Cash Offer, also known as Mr. Chris. Chris, turn uh, on, Chris, turn uh, on your video, man. I, I'm in a weird uh, situation. No, I don't care if you're on the toilet. Turn on your video. <laughs> uh -oh. It'll make for a great recording. <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me a second. No, oh, you listen. <laughs> it's the family show, so use your best judgment. The officer is real. He's on. <laughs> okay, great. I'm okay, ready. Uh, Chris, you're going to role play with George. Go for it. Uh, hit him up with that lawyer, Jazz. Okay. Um, well, George. Um, yeah, I mean everything looks great on the contract and everything, but you know I got to. I, I won't be able to sign it because, you know, I have to let my attorney see it. You know, I, I got into a deal like this before and I, you know, I really kind of got screwed over. I didn't get any earnest or anything. So, you know, you understand, I just want to let my attorney. Oh yeah. 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 That, that's personal. That's, that's completely reasonable. You know, a smart person would go to their attorney and, you know, take a look at that contract and make sure everything's great. Um, listen, but I do a lot of deals. Um, this, I need an answer soon because this property is, um, there's several people looking at it and I want you to have it. Um, say you get in contact with your lawyer in a couple hours, say by four o'clock, uh, I give you a video call meeting and you look it over with your lawyer. Can you get him on the phone or send him the document or do whatever you have to do? Well, I, I won't be able to get uh, to him today. Um, but I could probably get to him tomorrow and, um, yeah, I'll let him review it. It's a Monday. It's it's a, it's a it's a weekday. Uh, do you think you know you could at least give him a like contact him because I can't get, I can't hold this deal forever, and I I really want you to have it. It seems like it seems like something. This property seems ideal for you. You said that you were living in an apartment. You have a whole bunch of kids in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, yeah. Um, the thing is, you know, um, I, I have to schedule or I need to get them on the phone and. Um, yeah, uh, I could try to get it by him to, today. And uh, if I get it by there today, can I let you know something in the morning? Uh, why, why not today? Because uh, tomorrow there's other prospects for the deal, and I want to get this going for you. Now give him a little, give him a little cookie though. Stroke and nurture him. Hey, look, I really, you came to me with a problem. I really want to help you. You sound like a great guy. We've been 40 minutes on the phone here. I think you're getting a little nervous. It's okay to say no, but if we're going to go through this, let's, let's be men and make a commitment. Give him, give him a little, give him a little sweetness and a little authority together. Boom. Go for it. All right. Hey, listen, uh, it sounded great. You said it, we've been talking for the past 45 minutes. Things have been going really well. You seem like you're getting cold feet. I mean, I, I uh, really enjoyed like the stories of all your family and I really like to put them in a good spot. Wouldn't you like to put them in a good spot? Yeah, no, it, you know, everything sounds good. I'm glad that you're here to try to help me. And, you know, I, um, I have to do something, you know, really quickly. Well, you uh, seem like a great, you seem like a great father and like, you know, what a great Christmas gift it would be to, to have your family in a home for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, so I'll, I, I'll tell you what, you get in contact with your lawyer um, and then I'll give you a call back at four o'clock. Does that work for you? That works for me. I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll call you back as soon as I get off the phone with him. Okay, great. You have the contracts that I emailed you? Yeah, I have to send that over to him, and then when he gets back to me, I'll get back to you. And you have an iPhone, right? Yes. All right, great. And I'll FaceTime, call you, and we'll get things moving. Okay, great. I, I really appreciate it, George. Thank that you. was, woo! It's going to be a good Christmas. That was, that was excellent. You've come a long way, young man. Thank you. That's what gut selling sounds like, okay? It's, that's using a little bit of theater. 
a little bit of uh, a little bit of psychology. They're being assertive. You know what's uh, and that's what I loved. You were very direct. You were very polite, almost a little too polite, actually. Chris was using every wishy-washy word ever invented. <laughs> Chris, you play a great annoying prospect. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are, what are you? It enough. What are you sitting on, by the way, just for the audience's uh, imagination right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <you. laughs> the thing is, leave it to our imagination. I know. <laughs> yes, theater of the mind is important. Um, the thing about it is, if we are totally, what do most salespeople do when they get a prospect, a hot prospect? Are we subservient to that prospect? We sound like the little puppy at the dinner table. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know, right? What happens when we become subservient to the prospect? What happens? They run over you. Yeah. Why? What happens? You're not the authority anymore. What, what's going on in their mind when you're begging? I they call it me. begging. Yeah, they, they want everything from you. They want they want all your free education. They want you know all your backgrounds, every single <clears> thing <throat> you did, this and that, and everything. Up there is in, no up trust. To the point where they say no. Jerome, go ahead. It's no trust. Sir. There's no, no trust. Begging. There's no trust. There's no respect. We've got you on your heels. They've got no. If they do not respect you, how? Why would they do business with? If you're giving it away for free, if you're doing free consulting and you're subservient, and you're not showing dramatic leadership qualities, why should they make a commitment and sign with you and give you a contract today? Why?